when they grow up, her. I'll be 95, 53. Is that how old you're going to be? Yeah. Um, at eight weeks, the obstetrician looked in and saw that there wasn't a heartbeat. So, you know, we thought he had passed. It turned out that we came back two weeks later and he was back. It's, he's really a miracle for us. He was great. He loved music. He loved to be rocked. There was no indication that anything was different at all. He started really having problems with bright lights and sounds and he would just scream. We had no idea that that could be an indication of autism. At first you're kind of disconcerted. You don't know what to do. You kind of mourn the loss of the child that you thought you would have. He's just such a great person. He's so loving. He's funny. I mean, just getting to know him as a person has been a real pleasure. Action! Sometimes people think that he has an intellectual disability, and he doesn't. Um, there was one incident where the cardiologist was talking to me about something he saw on the test, and he stopped him and said, no, you tell me about my heart. You know, this is my health. People with autism should be proud. Just because somebody acts different or maybe speaks a little differently doesn't mean that they don't have a lot to contribute. Treat them like everybody else. You know, whether it's an adult or a child, that's all people with autism and with special needs want, is to be included. We need to move beyond autism awareness, which is what the month of April is about, and go to inclusion. I'm gonna be an astronaut.